dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you. Plans to use the court to remove Hope Uzodema heightens as PDP joins case. May uh, matters, uh, the matter gets uh, a new date, you know, from the courts. The case instituted by RAP, RAP aimed at removing the Imo State Governor, Senator Hope Uzadema, has entered another stage with the court allowing the PDP to join the suit, while the matter has been adjourned to the 29th of September 2020. We would ask why that long, that far. We are in July, the whole of August, the whole of September. Well, it is sad and unfortunate. While the AA candidate, Chief Uchi Wosu, that's the in-law to Richard Zokorocha, is said to be dissociating himself from the fresh legal tussle, the PDP at the resumed hearing of the matter joined as party to the matter. And also to add flesh to the case, which appears to be a threat to Uzo Dema, the court gave the matter a fresh date for further hearing. The governorship candidate of RAP, that's RAP, Kingdom Okiri, a lawyer had approached the court, demanding an interpretation to the Supreme Court ruling that disqualified Uche Nwosu based on dual candidacy. RAP's prayer, that's RAP's prayer, before the Abuja Federal High Court is anchored on the Supreme Court's judgment that Chief Mwosu was not to have participated in the governorship election because he was both the candidate of the APC as well as that of the AA in the eyes of the law. According to the demands of RAP, should that, should that Mwosu's dual candidate status ruled by the Supreme Court is considered, Uzadema should be relieved of his position as governor for having no platform as a contestant for Imo State governorship election in the 2019 election. So, guys, the whole matter is beginning to take uh, a new shape. So, the PDP has entered into the, uh, the case now, you know, trying to uh, support the case, and probably evidences will definitely be provided. And uh, they are trying to also see how they can come in and uh, use this, this um, um, perspective to actually uh, win the case. Is it possible? Well, everything is possible in Nigeria. I have to keep our fingers crossed and see how things uh, unfold. But meanwhile, at the time, let's take a few reactions. Let's hear what uh, people are saying concerning this particular new story. Festus Chidera says, Sometimes I used to think if these politicians have sense at all. Well, I don't understand where he's coming from or what he means by if the politicians have sense. Well, he, he didn't go further. Let's take another reaction. He said he was installed by the court. So I don't think anything will be wrong if he exits through the same uh, door that he entered. Well, it remains to be seen if the case will be proven beyond reasonable doubt and that if the evidence will be enough to convince the judge or the judges to actually... Um, a, a rule against uh, Hope Uzadema, as it were. John Ezeaku says, Hope Uzadema is Ushomole and Abakiari's court made governor. Now that Abakiari is dead and Ushomole is, is dethroned, there is no more hope for Hope. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? Do you really agree? Well, a lot of things have actually, you know, taken uh, turns or taken. Uh, drastic turn at the event of the date of Abakiari ever since you know he died in April a lot of revelations a lot of things happened in the presidency as it were and everybody can attest to that and can see so will this particular development be another of such that would actually affect um, you know the uh, uh, hopes of them as it were being the fact that uh, Abakiari who was the, said to be the de facto president you know you know, he's no longer uh, alive. So let's see how things will definitely unfold. Will Uzadema, you know, be able to handle things or will they, the Kaba be able to stand for him like Abakari did? 
Well, it remains to be seen. Let's take a few reactions more. So the guy is making sense. If the Supreme Court disqualified Uchen Wosu for dual candidacy, both APC and AE, they made a big mistake because that decision then means Hope Zodima doesn't have a party or a part in that election. So the Supreme Court rules on Uchen Wosu was a mistake. Okay? Guys, do you agree? And that is the perception or that is the perspective that rap is actually coming to or bringing through to actually um, change this case or the look of things. And uh, PDP has also joined the case. So if Uchen also was disqualified, this is at the Supreme Court level now, not at the lower courts. Now the Supreme Court, you know, you know, affirming and disqualifying uh, Uchen also the in-law of Richard Sokorocha. On the basis of dual candidacy, that it cannot be the candidate of APC and also the candidate, candidate of AA. So automatically, it what they are saying is that it means that um, Hopus Adima was not sponsored by the APC. So now it remains to be seen who actually did the APC sponsor during the 2019 governorship election in Imo State. Was it Uchen Wosu? Was it a, who did they present? Who did APC actually present as the governor to I as the, their candidate? I beg your pardon to INEC. So this is where INEC also comes into play. You get the point. So who did they present to INEC? Is the case. INEC would come in to say, okay, we'll show their documents. Who was their candidate? Who was the candidate of the APC during the governorship election? I think that is going to be what will solve the case. And if that was not enough then there will still be argument on the on how the supreme court came about you know the ruling that affects and that eliminated uh, uh, uh you know from even contesting the election as it as it were well it's it's really really yeah it's really really confusing and uh, well, let's see how it is samuel ade boyo jose is this is for the academic purpose no real threat to a candidate who only has one party representation. Useless lawyer. Money kill you there. Well, it is well. Let's see how it goes. Joy Koro says, this is a high level academic exercise. You people are fools for not realizing that Supreme Court cannot reverse itself. Your high hope will end in high court. At Supreme Court, you will be disappointed. Okay. Guys, what do you think? Let's keep our fingers crossed. Obed Uzoma says, I'm not a lawyer, but those lawyers that represented Emeka Hidioha of the PDP should go back to read jurisprudence because that could not argue their case, which was glaring to favor them in every interpretation, no matter the ruling. The question is, which party did Hope represent during that election? Hence, Uchen Wosu was APC and AA candidate. APC never resolved the issue on who represents them before the election. Therefore, deemed even disqualified prior to that election. How come Hope Uzadema's case was even entertained when he was not even representing any party? How many candidates represented APC if both Uche and Hope were APC candidates? How come or how come an handwritten vote were counted without validation by electoral umpires. How come strongholds of a politician can be translated into votes, not even casted? What is the definition of strongholds? No props. They thought that Imo states will boil like Edo, Kogi, Kaduna, Zamfara, Anambra, rivers by Yelsa, but the enemies were disgraced to see an education advanced state taking its school. After all, which politician in this era would fight and die for? Or is what fighting and die for? Do they watch it? No. But just as the law of karma is alive, it must catch up with all our enemies. Okay? Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? Another person says, David, Duruja says, money you supposed to use to help the needy. So when Musu dumped the APC, the party should surrender and shouldn't feed another candidate? Well, it remains to be seen. Arabin says, both Richard Zokorocha and his son-in-law are very desperate for obvious reasons to stop the probes and to continue the looting from where they stopped. Could this be the purposes and the reasons? 
Well, it remains to be seen. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. The court will interpret the judgment and we will see what the result would be. But in the meantime, a lot of people are giving hope to uh, Emeka Hidioha that he probably might, you know, come back. Well, nothing is impossible. What are your thoughts? Can you drop out the comment section? Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the odd news. Thank you and bye for now.